Today's the day that everybody gets worked up about things that go bump in the night. We should actually be more worked up about things that go bump in our minds. Greed, aversion, and delusion, they come in, they whisper and they have hints that if we don't give in to them, we're going to be miserable. It's like the horror films where they don't really show the ghost or show the monster or whatever. They show people's reactions, they show little signs here and there, and they let you fill in all the blanks about how horrible and creepy the monster may be. But if you actually look straight on it, most of the times it wouldn't be all that creepy at all, all that scary at all. It's all about hints that people get worked up about. Well, it's the same with our defilements. Greed, lust, anger come in and they say, if you don't give in, you're going to get sick. Or I have a lot of power. If you don't give in now, I'm just going to get stronger and stronger. And we believe these things. We don't really look at them. I saw a drawing one time in a Dharma book in Thailand. It was of a tiger, and the tiger's face was very realistic. But then you look at the body, it was just made out of folded paper, like origami. In other words, the defilements come on strong. But if you're able to withstand them for a bit, you realize they're not as totally strong and monolithic as they seem. So when something comes bump in your mind, even when you meditate, it doesn't have to be a major defilement, just a little tiny one. I'm bored. Enough of this. And we go with it. It's just a whisper, hardly even a whisper. You know, we have these, let these things blow us around. We're like a little tiny piece of paper in the wind. You've got to get the mind a lot more solid. So when these whispers come in, you don't, you don't move. The Buddha's image of the ideal mind is one like a stone pillar, 16 spans tall, 8 spans buried in the ground. No matter which direction the wind comes from, the pillar doesn't shake. Sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, and especially ideas come through the mind. And ideally, you shouldn't be driven around by these things. Put yourself in a position where you can choose which thoughts are really worth going with and which are not, which ones are worth listening to and which ones are not. And as for the whispers and the threats, you don't have to believe them. Be a little bit more defiant. Years back there was a hut we had at one time, it hit, and every now and then the light in the hut would go on on its own. And the hut had a reputation of being haunted. So I'd go and turn off the light, and a few days later the light was back on again. Go back and turn it off. So finally one day I went in and I, as I was turning off the light, said, this is all you can do, it's pretty pathetic. And that was the last. It never happened. So show some defiance to your defilements, and you see that they're not nearly as scary as you thought they might be. <laughs>